I arrived early this morning to fly on this lake. During my last try yesterday, there were so much interferences that it was not possible to fly. Using my PitLab autopilot, I decided to plan a fly using five waypoints. The day before, I connected my autopilot PitLab. It is a green thing with the two lights you can see in the plane. I connected it to my computer and using FPV Manager, I search the place where I fly in French Guyana. Then I selected the area where I am going to fly. This is the lake. First, I put a base. It's a red flag here, and I put it approximately at the point where I will start to fly. The first yellow circle is 500 meters from the base. The blue one is one kilometer, and the red one is 1.5 kilometers. I put the first waypoint, it appears here. I put it where I want it to be, because I don't want to fly directly to the river. Then I put it a second waypoint, waypoint B. Then I put it three more waypoints. So as you can see, I'm going to fly from the base to the waypoint A on the island, then turn right to the waypoint B, then turn back to the waypoint C, then to the eastern waypoint, the waypoint D, and at the end, fly back to the waypoint E, where I can see my plane. Because of the field configuration, I have to take off facing the sun, and there are trees behind the plane and the receiver, so the video is not quite good. I pilot the plane to an altitude of approximately 50 meters to avoid the trees. I am in stabilization mode. Then I switch in automatic mode, you can see auto, and then the plane turns automatically to the waypoint one. You can see at the right that in this automatic mode, the plane is still climbing because the waypoint one is at 150 meters. Now we are at 150 meters and the PitLab pilot regulates the power of the engine to keep the altitude. You can see number one, two, three, four, five on the screen. It's the relative positions of the different waypoint. There is a square around the number one because the waypoint one is the first target of the plane. You can see in the top left corner the distance to the waypoint one decreasing. When the plane will reach around 50 meters from the waypoint one, it is going to turn to the waypoint two. Right now it is turning. And now we can see the distance to the waypoint two on the top left corner. Now you have the same thing by the HD camera. Of course, it's much better to see. You can see the Sinamari River under the clouds. Now the distance to the waypoint 2 is decreasing and we are going to turn on the waypoint 2. That's the turn. Now you can see that I'm going to come back in stabilization mode because I want to film the other side of the fluid barrier. These pictures are the goal of this fly. That's where I wanted to go.
I stay in stabilization mode to raise a correct altitude because the next waypoints are set at current altitude. So I mustn't be too low. At 120 meters, I switch on automatic fly and now the mission continue going to the waypoint 3. You can see now the distance to the waypoint 3 decreasing and that there is a square around the number 3 because it's now the target. Arriving to the waypoint 3, the plane turn to the waypoint 4, which is at 1 km.6 from the present position. The plane is now flying facing the sun, and you can see that it's moving a little bit left and right. I think the setting of my autopilot is not completely good. I must decrease the correction so as the plane fly straight on. You can see in yellow the total consumption of the engine and in red the present consumption. During this last turn you can see that the pilot automatically increases the power of the engine to avoid any stall. The same turn by the HD camera, few clouds on the trees, and a nice sun. Now the plane is facing the waypoint E. I can see it and organize the landing on the ground.